Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Cindy and today I'm going to tell you how I get rid of my dry, flaky skin. One of the issues I've been trying to tackle during my skincare journey is my flaky skin. When I'm just doing my skincare routine, it's not as noticeable, but once I put on a BB cream or a foundation, it kind of like is all out in the open. Especially around my nose, it looks very like scaly, as well as my chin area, there's like these flakes that can come off and it kind of, you know, ruins the whole look, I would say. My current favorite way to fight this is by using an acid. And the reason why I am so excited to share this acid with you guys is because I have personally seen results after just one use. So I put it on at night, I wake up in the morning, beautiful results. And that is very hard to come by. <laughs> of course, I can't guarantee it for everybody because everybody's skin is different, but the fact that it worked for me gives me hope for others. So the acid that I have been using in particular is the one from The Ordinary. It is their lactic acid 5% plus HA. The Ordinary says the following about this product. It offers a very mild exfoliation and is supported with a purified Tasmanian pepperberry, which according to them is known to reduce signs of inflammation and sensitivity that is often associated with exfoliation. This costs 6,500 won in Korea and $6.50 in the USA. If you buy this product and it doesn't look the same color as mine, don't really worry about it. Because of the pepperberry, it might be a slightly different color. The texture is kind of watery with like a little bit of the slip feeling to it. And it's pretty easy to blend or apply across the skin. If you know anything about me, then you know that I'm not just going to look at one website and be like, all right, that's everything about this. That's all you need to know. I, of course, did more research. So the Ordinary says that it exfoliates, but what does that mean? What does that do? Let me explain. Basically, at the cellular level, it helps dissolve the bonds that hold the old cells together so it can slough away. At the same time, it helps speed up cell turnover and stimulate cell renewal. The visible results end up being a brighter complexion, smoother skin, and softer skin. Now I can't attest to the personal long-term effects, but the research does suggest the following. When you use lactic acid regularly, it improves the sign of aging, stimulates collagen renewal, and helps to firm up the skin. Furthermore, it can help fade hyperpigmentation, soften fine lines, and smooth out wrinkles. However, it will do no such thing for the really deep lines. <laughs> It is an AHA, which stands for alpha hydroxy acid. Hope I'm saying that right. AHAs work on the surface of the skin, are water soluble, and are recommended for people with normal to dry skin. Lactic acid in particular is known to be one of the more gentler AHAs. Lactic acid also has the properties of a humectant, which means it helps bind water to the skin. As I mentioned in a different video, you do have to be careful with humectants. The water that it attracts and binds the skin can come from the environment when there is enough moisture in the air, but it can also come from the deeper layers of the skin when the air lacks moisture. So in my personal opinion, humectants are a little bit of a double-edged sword that you do have to be careful handling. It is always a good idea to follow up with an oil or a moisturizer to help seal all of that hydration in. The last claim that I read was that lactic acid helps the skin's natural moisture factor, which is the way skin keeps itself hydrated. So all around this sounds like kind of an amazing product. If you've never used an acid before, you really should start out at a lower strength, like 5 or 10% max at night. Do not use this in the daytime. For me and my skin, I'm currently content with the 5%. And then when I finish this bottle, I might move up to the 10%. The Ordinary also offers that level of concentration. Now, amazing as this product may sound, and as much as I love it, I do have to give some warnings. One, this should not be used on really sensitive or peeling or compromised skin. 
two, and this is a really, really big one. Using lactic acid increases your sensitivity to the sun and increases the likelihood of sunburn. So if you are interested in using this product, but you are a person who enjoys going out in the sun a lot, has to go out in the sun a lot for some reason, and has a tendency to forget using sunscreen or doesn't apply it very often, this is not the product for you. If you decide to ignore this warning, that means you are essentially paying money to damage your skin in the long term. I can't make you not do it, but I highly, highly suggest that you don't. Besides sun damage, <laughs> lactic acid can also cause irritation to the skin. So you should be on the lookout for the following. Redness, burning, peeling, dryness, super itchy skin, and swelling. Minor, and I mean very minor, redness, burning, or itching is not uncommon when you first apply it, but if it doesn't go away, then you have a problem. For me personally, I do feel a stinging sensation, but it goes away within 10 minutes, I think. However, if what you're experiencing is moderate or severe and does not go away, you should probably wash your face and contact a doctor or a dermatologist or someone who knows what to do. Here's how I use this product. First, I only use it every like three days. I don't feel the need to do it more than that. All I do is cleanse my face and then I apply it. I wait about 10 to 15 minutes and then I apply my oil and my cream. You can dilute it if you want to, if you feel like it's too strong for you. For me personally, the only thing that I'm not quite sure about is how long I should wait between putting on the lactic acid and then following up with my oil. Just because I don't want to accidentally put on the oil too soon and reduce the effectiveness of the lactic acid by diluting it. So if you know the answer to that question, please tell me. After that, I just go to bed. <laughs> the following day, I wake up, I wash my face. And then I will do my regular skincare routine, including the sunscreen. Like I told you earlier, put on the sunscreen and voila, my skin looks much better. So this is the result of using it just one time. And as you can see, I love it. Now currently at the time that I'm recording this video, it has been a little while since that first night. And I can report that my skin is still flake free. Of course, overall, it hasn't been that long since I've been using this product, so I can't confirm any of those claims that I had mentioned. But simply based on this one result, I am very pleased with this product. I will continue to use it again, like I said before. I'll probably bump up to the 10% when my skin is ready and hopefully enjoy, you know, collagen renewal, reducing wrinkles, all that good stuff and my skin will just get better and better. And that's it for now. So if you found this video at all entertaining and or informative, please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you're having a wonderful time wherever and whenever you are, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Don't know why I did that, but yeah, sure.